Li Jingxing, a journalist at China's state-run CGTN, interviewed American political activist Nick Brana. Brana was involved in a February 19th pro-Russian rally in Washington, D.C. The protest organizers blamed Russia's invasion of Ukraine on the West. Li supported that message. Since the Western mainstream media is not showing the real voices, here on my show, I'm going to show you the voices from this anti-war movement. That is misleading. Rather than showing the real voices of the Americans, the rally attracted more fringe political ideologies and movements from the left and right. That includes followers of Lyndon LaRouche, a deceased U.S. political activist whose group is often described as cult-like. The protest organizers made demands that mirrored those of the Kremlin, namely, ending aid to Ukraine. During his appearance, Bronner repeated Russia's talking points, including the false claims that the U.S. organized a coup in Ukraine in 2014 and that the war was provoked by NATO expansion. Many of those who spoke at the rally allegedly have financial ties with the Russian state or were employed by it. Some protesters carried Russian or Soviet flags and wore clothing marked with the letter Z, Russia's symbol for the war in Ukraine. 